Hello everyone, this is Horda Ganji. In the last video, we talked about a two-point adaptive family and how it works in Dynamo. In this video, I'm going to talk about a three-point adaptive family. So I'm going to create uh, a new family. It's going to be metric generic model adaptive again. I would like to change the units to meters, three decimal places. You can work in millimeters if you prefer. And I want to go to reference level. Feel free to go with WT to put your two views side by side. And I want to create three points, which are reference points on the face on reference level. One, two, three. The location does not matter. All three are going to be adaptive. And I want to uh, click on reference, click on spline through points. I'll leave that on drawn face, click once, click twice, right click cancel, and that's how we join the points to get two lines. So this is going to be a design of a truss, okay, so this is going to be on the roof for the truss. Uh, that's all the family I need, I can save it as adaptive uh, three-point family. I want to go with only one backup. Okay, I'll type uh, TW, so it's going to go back to uh, tab views, and then I want to open a new metric template file on Revit. I can type UN to change the units to meters, and three decimal places, I want to go to manage Dynamo. Uh, I'm going to open uh, the file that we worked on in the last video. Feel free to watch the last video. I will also put the link to the last video and the details on this video. And I want to make a save as. So we don't want to change that file. It's a new Dynamo file. I will remove this connection here at the end and I want to run it. So you remember we had a two-point family and that's how it worked before. Uh, first, let's make sure that the three-point family that we created uh, has some objects, right? So uh, in order to make some objects, uh, I'm going to click somewhere around here. I want to set this point, show. Uh, before I continue, I just want to double check the units. I want it to be on meters, three decimal places. I guess I made a mistake before. Now I want to draw a circle to create the profile of this structure. Maybe it's going to be 0.1 in diameter. I want to click on the dimension here. Okay, and when it's permanent dimension, I can make a parameter here, diameter. I'll leave it on type for now, okay. And I want to uh, actually turn the preview off the reference plane. I want to click on the circle and the two lines and create form. It's that simple and it will just create a, a truss for us. This is going to be a truss. Feel free to use other profiles if you want to. Save the file and load it into project. I want to hit escape. Now the file is in the project. I'll go back to Dynamo. And I want to first make sure that it's loaded and everything is good. So I'll go with adaptive three point, right? Now, uh, you remember we had two lines. So currently if I connect it, it's not gonna work because this is a, a family that needs three points, right? So what I'm planning to do is that I'm gonna keep those two lines and I will create a third line here. Okay, so how about I uh, create just one line. I will keep my two curves line by two points. That's what I want to go with. I will actually remove this connection for now. And I want to change this back to automatic. And now all I need are two points. I'll go with point by coordinate twice. And I want to assign some number slider. So I'll go with a number slider. Maybe if this is going to be assigned to X, maybe it can go as high as 20 or something. 
I think somewhere around 15 was where we had uh, our other line. Uh, so if I want this to be more or less around there, I'll uh, change the maximum maybe to 25 and I'll move this so it's more or less around there. Uh, I also need to assign some values to the Y of the two sides of the line. So uh, let me assign these two. So that's somehow the line that we have. I'll bring another number slider for our Y. So it has to go from a negative value, maybe negative 10 to five or something. Okay, and I want to assign this to the Y of the two points. Now I want to adjust it so it's somewhere around the center over there. And maybe I can assign a number slider to Z. Uh, maybe I can assign, maybe three meters is good and I'll assign it to the Z. So this is going to be our first line. Second line is the one at the top, and this is the third one. And I'm assuming that we're going to have a truss or something here. Just the same way that we use curve.point at equal segment length. So I want to control C, control V, copy and paste that node, connect the line to the curve this time, and it will be divided by 10. And I can group this. Actually, this is my curve 2. The order matters here, and this is going to be curve three. So I want to connect my curve two, which is this line, to item one, which is the second item, and curve three to the last item. I'm going to put this on manual as soon as I assign the family type to family type and the points to point and run it. It will create a beautiful set of trusses here. No matter what's the form of your roof, it will be still able to generate it. And uh, I can uh, change the thickness parameter. Feel free to design other profiles. So it's going to work as you wish. Uh, and this is a three point adaptive component family. Uh, that's it for this video. Please uh, like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much.